Welcome back to Hucho's. Today on Hucho's, I'm gonna show you how to make bagged potting mix. So we're going to actually combine our own ingredients, soilless ingredients, or you can take this method and apply it to soiled to make up our own grow bags. Now these grow bags are going to be multi-purpose, so we'll be using them in multiple systems in the future, and you can tailor the size to your purpose. So what you'll need today, we'll need the media that you're going to be putting into the bags. So for me, I have peat moss, a hydroponic grade of cocoa. Now you can use any cocoa that you like if you're making soil bags. If you're making the bags for hydroponics, just make sure that the cocoa has been amended for hydroponics. And I'll also be using perlite. The bagging material that we're going to be using today is actually readily available at most hardware stores. Uh, it's not technically bagging material. This is temporary downpipe. Now it's UV stable plastic and it's tubular. So it comes in a roll like so, and it is a tube. So we can actually use the last thing you'll need, which is a vacuum sealer or any plastic sealer. So this vacuum sealer, it has a heat strip, which we'll be using to seal our tubular plastic. So you can see here that I've already done a test and made sure that it seals, and that's given us a nice, neat seal on the end of our downpipe. And you can see there that it's completely watertight as well. Now you can actually buy specifically purpose-made plastic for bagging, and that is available online at any of your packaging companies. I know specifically that a company called Stanley manufacture this kind of thing. However, I wanted it to be readily available in most hardware stores. So if it's available in Australia in a hardware store, it's highly likely it's available elsewhere. So obviously you will need to tailor the mix to the plants and the method that you are using. This specific mix will be a strawberry mix and I'll link in the description the university website that I sourced this mix from. It's a mix that has been developed and tailored specifically to strawberries and we'll be using it in a variety of systems going forward from here on. The first system that I'm going to be using this bagged media in is the rock wedge hydroponic system. However, instead of wedging into rock wool, we'll be wedging into our bagged media. This is going to allow the hydroponic nutrient within this system to refill below, wick up through our rock wedges and into our bagged media, applying our strawberries with water and nutrition. This is actually going to allow us to have this system suspended um, above the ground or on the ground, wherever you like, as long as that end is feeding hydroponic nutrient, which can either be fed from a pressurized system or gravity. The length that I want these bags will be dependent on the spacing of our holes. You can make them as short or as long as you like. I'm going to go with the pre-existing holes within this system. So I'll measure that and we can cut our bags to size. And that is going to be the size of our strawberry bags. Now, the way that you can work out the volume of these bags is this is a 90 to 100 mil diameter bag and each 11 centimeters of bag will hold one liter of media. So you can work out the plant spacing dependent on the bag size. So for instance, our strawberries have a ideal root space of two liters per plant. So if this is one meter long, we can then assume that we can fit in five plants per meter, which is slightly under the two liters per plant, but it shouldn't affect the grow too much. So this section of bag will hold five plants. To this, we can just add our grow meter once we have one end sealed up. So I'm gonna cut the rest of our lengths. So I've got three lengths there, that will cover the whole pipe. And we can seal up the ends on our bags. Okay, so sealing the bags is really simple. We just place our bag end over the heat strip, clip down our vacuum sealer and we seal. That's done. And you can see we have a nice seal on the end. We can place that aside and seal the next one. Easy, okay. 
So now our three bags are sealed at one end. We can mix up our media. So for the media, I'm going to be using a ratio of 25% to 30% cocoa and 20 to 25% peat moss mixed in with 50% perlite. Just to make it easier, 25% cocoa, 25% peat moss, and 50% perlite. Super simple. 20 liters of perlite, 10 liters of cocoa, and a little bit more is fine, and 10 liters of peat moss. Now there are definitely cheaper ways of getting peat moss, but I was on short notice for this video. And we're just gonna mix that up. You get this really nice, light, fluffy blend of different materials that will wick, but also keep oxygenated for the strawberry roots. All right, so there should be roughly 10 liters per each of these bags, and that will give me exactly four bags out of this wheelbarrow. So I'm just going to open the end of the bag and fill them up. Now, when you're choosing your plastic, it's ideal to go with a dark plastic. It's not gonna let any light in, um, obviously because of the hydroponic nutrient. So try and go for a dark UV stable, preferably LDPE or HDPE plastic. And that will give you a decent bag to work with. And we're not trying to pack this too tight, but we're also not trying to pack it too loose. You just want to sort of a nice amount of media in there, fill it as close to the top as possible, but not impeding the pinch at the end. And you have a bag snake. And then we can lay it down. We can take our vac sealer, clamp it over the top, like so and seal. And there we have our own custom grow bag. And you can make this in any size. It doesn't have to be long and thin like this. You can make it short and thin, short and fat. If you buy the larger rolls of plastic, you can make any custom hydroponic or soil based grow bag that you like with this method. And there it is is how you can make your own custom grow media grow bags using only hardware store materials and a vac sealer. So I hope this has given you some ideas for making your own grow bags, grow media environments, and hydroponic or auto watering dirt bag systems. And happy hydroponicking. I'll see you next time on Who Chose. A little bit of foreshadowing for you because like there's so many strawberries and pineapples. I don't know, maybe, maybe a strawberry and pineapple system. Maybe just a strawberry system. Maybe just a pineapple system.